Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I have my boxy charm to share with you guys. I'm pretty sure this is the October boxy charm though. I'm still getting mine late because honestly, I haven't changed the address to where it's going to. So it's still going to our old house, which takes me a little bit longer to get it. So it is delayed. I should be getting my November box within what, two weeks. So hopefully I can get that one up in November. So I do apologize. This is the October boxes. So I have two here. I'm not sure what they are. So I have the smaller one and then we have a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if it's the Lux or the premium, the big one, I'm not sure. So let's just dig in and see what we have here. So let's see what we have in the small one first. This one I think is what, $25? Oh my gosh, I slipped and almost cut my hand off. <laughs> I think it's time for a new cutter. All right, so opening it up here, I see we have several products that I'm actually really excited about. So the first thing we have is a card and the card actually has all the information on here as far as pricing. Also, it tells you a little bit about the products, how to use them and different things like that. So that's always helpful to have that because to me, I like to compare prices to see if you're actually getting your money's worth. Even though that's not technically how you should do it, you should do it as to, are you gonna use the products and stuff like that. So anyway, let's go and get started. The first thing I see is in a little bag and it says Hip Dot. Hip Dot is a brand I believe that is now at Ulta. So this is the Hip Dot Color Changing Sponge Duo. Enjoy an amazing color changing sponge. Watch it expand to twice the size when what? It creates buildable makeup application with minimum product waste. How's it color changing? I'm a little confused. I'm gonna have to go get those wet so we can see what it does. So here's what they look like right now and they're not wet. So I'm gonna go get these wet and see what happens. Hang tight. Okay, so I got both of them wet. I don't know if it's made any difference. I'll be honest with you. I'll put them in my little um, makeup eraser to kind of dry them off a little bit. So here's what they look like after they're wet. They're super soft, but they didn't change colors. I'm a little like unsure what that means. I don't know, but either way, they feel very soft. They feel nice. So we've got a smaller one, which is perfect for doing under your eyes or any contouring. That would be great for that as well. These are $18, it says. I'm excited to use them, I'll be honest, because it feels really soft. And I know that this is now sold at Ulta. I don't know if it's two that you get for 18 or if they're 18 a piece. I'll have to look into that to see. Because I wouldn't, I don't know. I would think they probably sell them as a duo. I don't know. It says duo. <laughs> Take another drink. You're doing good. <laughs> okay, the next thing is from Sol de Janeiro. This is a brand that you guys know that I love and I'm sure a lot of you love it as well. This is the Brazilian Kiss Tinted Cupacau Lip Butter. Tinted Lip Cow. Oh my goodness. This is in Soul Matte. Let's see what it says. It says a soft tinted lip treatment that pampers lips with a del delicious blend of cup of cow butter, ICI, and coconut oil. Cushiony soft. Oops, I just pulled it out by the top. Cushiony soft um, and super conditioning for lip loving benefits that transform dry, rough lips into your most kissable with a scrumptious aroma of dolce de leche. Lete? Lete, it says. Which is, this is $20. Okay, the packaging is actually really nice compared to like their actual, um, if you guys have ever tried their lip balm that comes in like the yellow packaging, that one's nice and everything. There's nothing wrong with that packaging, but this one just looks a lot more luxe. It looks a little bit weird though, like the top looks like it shouldn't be on here. I don't know. It just, it looks a little bit weird. Let's see how it smells. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like the lip butter though, honestly. So, and there's the slight tint that it has. That's really pretty. Okay. I am not hating that whatsoever, so I'm excited about that one. I, that's something that I know that I'll stick in my purse and I'll use quite a bit, to be honest. So I like so far we're doing pretty good here because I think this box is like $25. This is the regular box. Yeah, this is the regular box. This is $25. The next item is from Grown Alchemist. This is the Matte Balancing Moisturizer. Since I don't have oily skin, I'm just gonna put this to the side for like a future giveaway or to give to one of my family or friend members. Friend members. Give it to a family member or a friend. So this is the Grown Alchemist Lightweight Moisturizer that hydrates facial skin while balancing the skin's oil levels, leaving skin with a matte finish and increased clarity. This is $69. 
I know that this is not going to be good for me and my dry skin, so I'm not even going to open it and try to try it out because it would just be a waste. So I'm going to put that to the side. The next thing is from Farsali. This is the Farsali Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum. Now this I will use for sure. It says, a serum that helps to replenish moisture with a unique complex of low and high molecular high weight hyaluronic acid. The staggered molecular weights of the hyaluronic acid are designed to help promote multi-depth hydration in both on skin levels and the epidermis. Enriched with replenishing pro-vitamin B5, the skin's elasticity appears improved as well as feeling and looking softer than before. $24, so it's not a bad price either. This is a full ounce. Let's see how it feels. It's got like a little squeezy tube here. It looks just like a it looks like an oil to be honest with you so it doesn't look like a serum it looks like an oil but it goes in like a serum so that's awesome i smell only the cup of cow butter now on my hands so i don't smell anything other than that it feels really nice it's so it's sink and in, sunk into my skin very easily so that's awesome i am enjoying that so i will be using that for sure it feels a little sticky right now let's see if it stays tacky feeling and then the last thing in here, I believe, yes, is from Pretty Vulgar. Pretty Vulgar. This is the Nesting Bee Face. This is a bee face palette, and it's just a face palette. So that's actually really nice. I'm going to swatch this for you guys. So we have Glimmer of BS. <laughs> that's funny. And then we have Hush Blush. Oh, that's a really pretty color. I like that color. And then we have ego Ooh, and then we have son of a bee <laughs> this guy was cracking me up and then let's see me wipe my hand off here then we have mirror mirror which is this color right here kind of looks like the nars a little bit like the nars laguna uh, let's put it right here that's really pretty and then we have sun kissed snitch which is this color right here so there's all the colors. They look really nice, actually. So it looks like a really gorgeous face palette. So I'm excited about that. And I actually really do like Pretty Vulgar. I found that their products are pretty good. So I just dropped the card. Oh my gosh. Let's see what it says about that palette. It says the Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bee Face Palette is a beautiful selection of rosy blushes sun-kissed bronzers and creamy glowing highlighters these must have buildable shades deliver great color payoff and blend out like a dream they're developed for a wide range of skin tones and perfect for contouring your face it says it's 32 dollars i think this was a really great box so boxy charm two thumbs up in my opinion the only thing that i'm not going to personally use is the grown alchemist and that's just because of my skin type i think that if you had oily skin this is something that you would definitely use so I'm very happy because we have the Sol de Janeiro, we have the Fursali, the, uh, so Sol de Janeiro again. We have the, um, Hip Dot little sponges. And then the last thing we have is the Pretty Vulgar palette. So all of this for 25 bucks, I think they did fantastic. So way to go, BoxyCharm. All right, so that is that box. So we're gonna move on to the bigger box now. So we have that one right here and let's cut her open. Let's see what's inside here. Cut that one open pretty good. I'm like a surgeon. It's because I play operation all the time. This is BoxyCharm Premium. Okay, so let's see what we have. The first thing in here is your card, and it does have pricing on here, which is awesome. So the first thing I see is the Murad Hydration Hydrating Toner. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love Murad for a skincare brand, so I am very excited to have this. I'm actually going to put a little bit on top of my makeup probably not supposed to do that because it's a toner so you're supposed to put it on after you've cleansed your face but you know I wanted to smell it because Murad usually smells really good it's got a very clean scent to it and that's exactly how this smells this is $35 this is an ultra hydrating alcohol free toner instantly balances skin's natural pH while lifting impurities to enhance the benefits of treatments that follow Sodium PCH helps, PCA, I'm sorry, helps replenish lost moisture while chamomile and cucumber extracts soothe the skin. That's what I smell is the chamomile and cucumber. This is really awesome. And this is 35 bucks right here. So I'm very happy. 
So in premium, I believe it is what the $35 box. So this one's 30 and 35. And then the last one is the Lux Brute. Boxy term looks yeah I'm pretty sure and that's the 51 so we don't have the 51 right now but we do have the 35 the next thing in here is from Fenty Beauty so we have a Fenty Beauty brow MVP ultra fine brow pencil and styler and we have the shade medium brown wow we can go boxy charm I think this might actually work for me it'd be better if I had like blonde or something but medium brown I can always make it work just going with a lighter stroke um, it does have, oh wow, it's got that one where it's got the little, I think NYX has one like this. So it's got like a, oh my gosh, what is that brush brand? The Artiste brush on it. And then the other side is your pencil. And it's just a regular tip to it. And let's swatch it. Yeah, it's, I can definitely go with that color. I can use that for sure. So I am excited because I have not tried their brow product. So super excited about that. It says this is $20, an ultra fine retractable brow pencil made for hair like precision, born in a groundbreaking range of 14 long wear waterproof smudge resistant shades, plus a built in paddle brush for effortless blending and styling. I'm gonna try that paddle brush. I didn't like the next one, I'll be honest. The next one, I was like, I don't know if I like the paddle brush. So I'm not sure I'm gonna like the paddle brush on it or not, but I will definitely try it out and give it its own try it out and see if it's good basically so hopefully i can try all these products before i get my november box because i'm going to try to go back to doing it the way i was doing it before review everything that i had in the previous box and then show you the new product so that's my goal the next thing in here is from go to this is exfoliating swipes that's funny this is $35 it says these single use exfoliating pads soaked in an all natural solution to get rid of dead skin and hydric the skin. The well-documented effectiveness of lactic acid, the most gentle of all AHAs, is combined with ultra hydrating essential oils to create facial exfoliator that thoroughly removes dead skin cells, refines skin texture, minimizes the appearance of fine lines, and deeply moisturizes. Oh, that's a lot for a little wipe to do. Oh, <laughs> I don't like the smell of it. It reminds me of, oh my gosh, it's like, a cleaner I've used before it's like an orange cleaner that I've used before I don't know I'm just it's very overwhelming when you first open it up then after it's open for a little bit it's not as bad but I don't know hmm I'll try them out for sure whoa what is falling out of it something was falling out of it I don't know okay so I don't love the smell of those but let's see what one feels like I can wipe my hand off with it Gosh, I wish I could put my finger on exactly what it smells like. I think it's like the orange glow cleaner. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wipe it off my hand off, exfoliate my hand because you should be taking care of your hands too. Your hands can show signs of aging just as well as your face. So, mm. oh, that scent. I am not in love with that at all. Wonder what oil it is in there, the essential oil that's causing that scent. I'm gonna have to get like a magnifying glass. I'll be honest with you guys. I think I need bifocals or something because lately I can hardly see like small print. It's like really hard to read. And the next thing is from Laura Geller. This is 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Color. So here's what it looks like. And let's see what it says. This is $21. It says no more air kisses. Our pure pigment formula stays true with soft satiny color that stays put from morning to peck. Morning pack to midnight smooch. I was like, what? Uh, the uniquely curved applicator hugs lips for, for, for precise application. The built-in well delivers the perfect amount of color with each application. So let's see. What is this wand they're talking about? I've seen this wand before. I don't know if you guys remember this wand or not, but I've seen that wand on another product before. Oh, okay. That's a really pretty color and very pigmented. Okay, I probably shouldn't put it over top of a gloss. I mean, that's probably not going to help it make it stay on. So let's not do that. But that's a really pretty color. I should try that on with the palette that fits here. But it looks like we have another palette. <laughs> so the next palette is from Illuminix. What? Illuminati X is Issa. Uh, what? Illuminati Cosmetics. 
This is the Illuminati Times Issa eyeshadow palette. Times Issa. I'm not sure who Issa is. Isabel Bedoya. I'm not sure who that is. I'm watching my dog. She's over here walking around and scratching at my shirt. I have a shirt laying on the floor and she thinks it's her new bed. <laughs> She's funny. Okay, so let's see what this palette looks like. It says this palette is $48. Oh, it's really pretty. There's a color selection in here. Look at that color right there. That's that MAC Blue Brown. Or what is that? I don't know. It doesn't even look blue brown. It's like in like my mirror here, it looks blue brown. In person, it looks purple blue. It's very interesting. That is very unique. So I'm not sure what color is showing up on the camera here. So we have like this yellow. We have the green and then we have oh the other one is actually a face palette so we can we can do a complete makeup look yes um but this looks really pretty so i'm excited to try this out to see how good it is and see how pigmented the shadows are let's do a couple swatches let's do this swatch right here very very soft oh that is very soft let's try this black that's hard to do typically because blacks are like one of those colors it's hard to get to make it right yeah it's it's not perfect you can see that for sure but I think you can work with it. Okay, I am excited to try this out though. That looks like a fun palette to try. And for $48, it's a pretty pricey palette. Then the last item in here is from Kosos. This is the Color and Light Cream. This is the Cream Blush and Highlighter. Like literally, I can do my entire face, I think. The only thing I don't have is mascara and foundation and concealer. Other than that, we can do an entire look here. So let's see what this looks like. This is Eighth Muse. And uh oh, I see stuff falling out of it. Oh, I thought it was broken. Um, this is cream blush and cream highlight, which I know cream actually looks really good on like your skin. If you have really dry skin, it helps it out. So I'm actually excited to see how that works on my face. Uh, this says color and light palette, $34, an ultra blendable cream blush and highlighter palette in versatile duos of balancing brightening foolproof clean skin skin cushioning formulas each duo is available in two levels of, of intensity for color that complements every mood and every skin tone oh that's really cool that they offer it in two levels of intensity so over there it can work for a lot of people so there's what the two swatches look like it's very creamy oh that's a beautiful highlight and that's actually a really pretty blush i want to see how it draws down because I would think it would dry down some, maybe. I don't know. Oh, it looks really pretty blended in. That is a beautiful blush. It looks very natural. So that's the great thing about cream blushes too, is that they look very natural onto your skin. I'm excited about everything here. So I think the next video I'll do for BoxyCharm is a get ready with me using all these products that were there. You can see them in action. I know, like I said, this box is a little bit old, but does it really matter? I don't think so, honestly. I'm like, I still want to know people's opinions on things just so they're there. I can know if I want to subscribe to these boxes because one month might be amazing. The next month might suck like completely. Like I had some boxes recently that were just terrible and they were very expensive. So I was like, that was not a good box at all. Anyway, I'd love to know what you guys think of the boxy term boxes. Do you think they were good? Do you think they were bad? I'd love to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.